কষ্ট ছিল মানে বাচ্চা গোচ খেতে পেত না পড়াতে পারতাম না পড়াতে মানে জামা কর পড়াতে পারতাম না এই সব নানা সতর নিয়ে খুব এতে ছিলাম ছোটটা তখন পেটে ছিল যখন চলে গেছে সেই অবস্থা খুব খারাপ ছিল ছোট ছেলের জন্ডিস হয়েছিল এই ওষুধও দিতে পারিনি কাঁচা জল খাইয়েছি ছোট ছেলেকে অনেক কষ্ট ছেলেকে বাঁচিয়ে এনেছি আমারও খুব অবস্থা খারাপ ছিল হতে গিয়ে তারপরে তো ওই বাচ্চাকে নিয়ে কাজ করতে পারিনি তার সুই রেখে দেড় দেড়শো টাকা দিত মাস গেলে আমরা খুব দুজনেই এরম অন্ধ তো আমরা খুব ইয়ে কষ্ট করে মানুষ করেছি কেউ আমাদের দেখেনি যেমন প্রথম হচ্ছিল আমরা এখানে এসেছিলাম আমাদের বলেছিল সবাই বলেছে তোমরা এরকম খেতে পাও নি এখানে দিয়ে দাও না আমার ঘর বাড়ি নেই ভাইদের কাছে থাকি এমনকি ভাইদের সাথে অশান্তি দুবেলা হয় বলে তুমি এখান থেকে নেমে যাও আমি কোথায় যাব আমার ছেলে মেয়ে অনেক ছোট ছিল তখন দিয়ে দিয়েছি আমি খুব অসহায় আমি খুব অসুস্থ আমার মাথায় টিউমার হয়েছে সেই নিয়ে আমি চলছি আজ আছি কাল নেই পিতা দি থা নিশা সা করতা থা লড়কি কে খোঁজতা থা নেই উসকো হম মানুষ কিয়া তো নিশা করতে করতে এই দুর্গা পূজা মে ডেট হোগি হম তো বুঢ়ি হো গিয়া কব মরেগা কব জিয়েগা হমকো টিভি রোগ হো গিয়া হুয়া কব মরেগা কব বাঁচেগা কোই ঠিক নেই হে ইট ওয়াজ দ্য ইয়ার 2003 উইথ ইন দিস ডার্ক লেন্স অফ কলকাতা a 25 year old iit and iim alumnus shunning a bright and lucrative career was searching for a deeper meaning in life thinking beyond himself wanting to dedicate his life completely to serving deprived human beings rejected by society binay da amar khub upokar koreche ami van chalatam bhara van chalatam bole binay da bhani kenar jonno amake taka diyeche ekhono এখন আমার ছেলে মেয়েকে আমি খুব গর্ব করি যে এখানে যে পরিবেশে আছে আমি পারতাম না মানে দোয়ার পরে এখন খুব ভালো আছে ছেলেও ভালো আছে তো সে থাকাতে আমি নিশ্চিন্তে অনেক ভালো আছি আমার তো খুব খুশি আছে যে মেয়েটা লাগা পড়া থেকে খুব ভালোই আছে হ্যাঁ শান্তি আছে শান্তি থাকবো চিরে জীবন নিয়ে যাব না এখানে রেখে আমি আমার ছেলে মাধ্যমিক দিল নাইনে পড়ে সেভেনে পড়ে খুবই ভালো আছে अभी 4 साल के अभी 14 साल के हो गया बहुत खुशी अभी This man has been looking after hundreds of children from highly vulnerable and impoverished backgrounds by giving them back their lost childhoods and transforming their futures through quality education and long-term care and handholding. One day I it struck me that I should start a shelter home for children children from very difficult backgrounds. and uh, to whom i could dedicate my whole life i could bring, bring them up as my own younger brothers uh, and younger sisters so in that spirit as a guardian to them i can uh, live my whole life when i decided to start a shelter home i was first uh, looking for land where i could start and then do some construction in that land but even a small piece of land was costing so much that i mean it was just beyond any kind of uh, imagination that i had so i decided to uh, start in a rented building i therefore saw a few buildings then finally uh, you know zeroed on a rented building which was near the iim campus and rent of which was around 12000 rupees so i started taking lectures for uh, mba aspirants in some coaching institutes in calcutta and through that i could meet this rent started in a rented building in december 2003 vinayak pooled resources from his own earnings through lectures support from his mother who was parivar's first donor along with that from some close friends and iim batchmates also started coming as word spread about this effort more support from wider quarters started trickling in after a year vinayak managed to mobilize resources to buy 2 acres of land in a nondescript village called barkalikapur in 24 parganas south about 25 kilometers from kolkata and build parivar's permanent campus there so in this way i started first three children i brought from a village 
uh, around 20 kilometers from kolkata from extremely uh, deprived backgrounds and with that after 15 days another 10 children came so in this at the end of say two months i had around 30 children already i then began to write email appeals first to iim calcutta alumni because that was the domain i had access to though i had written to more than 1000 people percentage wise a very small uh, percentage responded but still number wise it was around 20 25 people who responded which was very encouraging to me because i realized that when i am just starting this work even at this stage there are people who are showing confidence in me showing trust in me. so all our children till grade 10 study there and in grade 11 12 and for graduation uh, in colleges they attend some outside institutions which uh, have the stream uh, they want to study every child at parivar is able to aspire to a brighter future based on the quality education and life skills he or she receives parivar identified highly vulnerable children from varied backgrounds like orphans or single parent children street children and girls from red light areas vulnerable to trafficking it also focused on children from highly impoverished tribal areas where even two square meals were not available and malnutrition was rampant at parivar we have residential children from around 14 15 different districts uh, around 12 districts in west bengal two districts in jharkhand and a few pockets in bihar and chatisgarh also every year parivar screens more than 1500 cases of needy children for admission these children are in the age group of 5 to 10 parivar has a detailed pre admission screening process which includes a site visit to ascertain whether a child is extremely needy and vulnerable and in need of long term residential care a key criterion in selecting the child is that there should be minimal possibility of the child dropping out from the parivar family we ensure that they are not looking for a short term uh, stay at parivar just for say a couple of years or so but for a long term transformation so if a child is admitted at the age of 5 uh, our aim is that till higher education which could be graduation and after that a job placement till that level the child will be at parivar most ngo and government run shelter homes support the children till they attain the age of 18 after which the support is withdrawn parivar has no such age limit i think that uh, just like in a family how a family supports a child to the last possible conclusion it could be higher education it could be job placement depending on the potential of that child giving all kinds of opportunities to make the most of that potential so this was my uh, vision that just like a family parivar will also handhold the child till the last conclusive stage which does full justice to his or her potential parivar is now west bengal's largest free residential institution a home for more than 1500 children served by a team of more than 175 deeply committed staff members it has two separate campuses for boys and girls each furnished with a school dormitories several dining halls computer labs libraries recreation halls and play fields children who had no opportunity of going to a school and whose nutrition safety and well-being were also under question now start aspiring to become teachers and engineers and to pursuing many other such careers a high happiness quotient which is visible to anyone visiting parivar is the reason for the negligible dropout rate the atmosphere at parivar enhances the self esteem of each child and opens up endless possibilities for the future 
almost 10% of the children appearing for the state board examinations for grade 10 and 12 clear the examination with decent scores. The emotional and psychological uh, nurturing of each child, I think it, that is of a very high level. And that, I believe, is uh, the most important achievement of Parivar. Now, second is that the aspiration level of the children completely changes because their esteem need here is uh, really fulfilled. The self-respect uh, and the respect from others that they get here from our Sevavatis, just like in a family, how you are sensitively dealt with. A full-time staff member of Parivar is referred to as a Sevavrati, meaning one who is devoted to the ideal of service. The Sevavratis cater to all the needs of boys as well as girls. Sib girl means Jeep Seva. Sabke andar Sib hai. Sami Vivekanand ji ne kaha tha, ye lekin Parivar mein sahi mein hai. Har ek bache ko kahi se bhi aata hai, wo lagta hai hamare bache. Jab Parivar mein wo bache aa jata hai, lagta hai ye bache hamara hi hai. बस उसका बैकग्राउंड में क्या है वो नहीं देखना है परिवार में दादा का बच्चा है और हम सब सेवापति का बच्चा है वो जब तक यहाँ पर आएगा वो हमारा बच्चा बन के ही रहेगा बड़ा होगा अच्छा इंसान तो बनेगा तब तो समाज भी अच्छा बन जाएगा मोर देन थर्टी ऑफ परिवार अर्लीस्ट किड्स आर नाउ गेनफुली एम्प्लॉयड आई आफ्टर यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल ग्रेजुएशन और अ स्किल्स प्रोग्राम दे आर वर्किंग इन डिफरेंट फील्ड लाइक नर्सिंग हॉस्पिटैलिटी sales, retail, IT, BPO, accountancy, etc. A few are also working at Parivar. Parivar's central theme is that every child has a potential that needs a favorable environment for its fullest development. meeting meeting इसका मेन कारण है कि उसके गार्जियन के पास अंदर में के सपना देना कि वो सोच सके कि अपने बच्चों किस लेवल तक ले जा सकते हैं तो लोग सोचते हैं कि अपना लड़की 10 12 साल हो जाए तो उसको शादी कर दे कहीं पे या लड़का हो 13 14 साल का हो गया तो उसको किस काम में लगा दे दो चार पैसा आ जाए लेकिन ये ये सोच नहीं सकते कि ये अपना भी बच्चा वो डॉक्टर बन सकता है इंजीनियर बन सकता है कुछ भी बन सकता है बड़े लेवल में तो हम लोग का ये कोशिश रहता है हमेशा उनको ये बोलना उसको समझाना आप अपने बच्चे को और बड़े स्तर में ले जाने के लिए कोशिश करो और हमें सपोर्ट करो कि हम ये कर सके ये सेवा आपको दे सके आपके बच्चे को और बड़े जगह पे ले जा सके विथ मोर देन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड रेजिडेंट चिल्ड्रन परिवार नाउ रन वेस्ट बेंगाल लार्जेस्ट फ्री रेजिडेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम डिप्राइव बैकग्राउंड from last year it has also started working in the new geography of madhya pradesh and is running four meal come education centers serving 500 children in the tribal areas of mp a new residential institution modeled like the ones in west bengal is also being developed for 500 resident children for the last 3 4 years binak had spent lot of time in building this entire tier of leadership and now we are very comfortable that's why that even if binayak is not there for several weeks in parivar parivar runs absolutely smoothly because the next line of leadership are perfectly in place inspired by the teachings of selfless service by shri ramakrishna and swami vivekanand vinayak lohani is transforming the lives of thousands of destitute children parivar his vision is now a dream fulfilled. This tireless journey of determination and dedication will surely provide a role model for many.